Nah, but seriously, Gordon, it's been an incredible 15 years, man. Thank you, Oscar. You know, you always treated this shop like it was your own and treated the customer like they were part of your family. Give my love to your wife and kids. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to promote one of you two now. Before you continue, sir, I just gotta say, I love that suit. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, Leroy. But it's not gonna be that easy. Whoever runs this shop is gonna have to earn it. I'm promoting the person who can earn the most amount of money for the shop by the end of the day. Becoming shop manager. Can you imagine? <laughs> That'd be like a dream. <laughs> so to shatter your dream, but that manager position's mine. Pretty soon I'm gonna be your boss, so you should get used to taking orders from me. You know what? Start by throwing that away. Hey. Hey. See, this is the kind of customer I hate. They're broke and never spend any money. You can tell just by looking at them. Hey! Que pasó, Jose? Actually, uh, my name's Sam. My tire sign just came on. I want to be you to check it? Yeah, not a problem. I'd be happy to. Just go ahead and... Uh, lo siento, but no. We don't fill air here, Paco. Take it to the gas station. I'm actually worried I won't make it to the gas station. Wanna be please just check? No, the answer is still Sure. No. I'll check it for you. Okay, just pull your car in. Thank you so much. Hey. You see this? This is exactly why you'll never be a manager. Take it from me, okay? Stop wasting your time with poor-looking people, and maybe then you'll get ahead. Look, I've always believed in helping people. Okay, and besides, you should never judge a book by its cover. Ugh. <laughs> uh, ooh. Would you look at that? A woman who knows nothing about cars. This should be like taking candy from a baby. Watch and learn. <sighs> well, hello. Welcome to Chris's Car Pairs. Can I help you, sweetheart? Hi, my check engine light is on. I, I think I may just need some new spark plugs. <laughs> well, I know as a woman you probably don't know much about cars, but anyway, this can be very serious. Oh, I actually know a lot about cars. If I can just get some spark plugs, I can change them myself. Look, look, just because you found some inspo on Pinterest doesn't mean you know about cars. Trust the experts, sweetheart. Just pull it in and I'll take a look at it. Okay. It's Christina, by the way. My husband doesn't like it when other men call me sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Sure. Hey. Guaranteed I'm gonna stick her for at least five grand, maybe even ten. Oh. Okay, yeah, that guy's definitely not spending any money. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks again. This isn't even my car. It's my daughter's. I have a business to run. Sure you do, Hector. And I'm the CEO of Tesla. Okay. Hey, let's take a look. Well, the air is just a little low, so a small top off should do the trick. All right. There. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in always treating customers like family. So I'm not going to charge you for a little bit of air. Wow. Well, God bless you. I won't forget this, and trust me, I'm definitely coming back. Thank you. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in treating everyone like, are you serious? Did you not see how much cash he had? I would have taken it all. Well, he did say he was coming back. That's what they all say, but they never do. Take it from me. 
Get it all while you can. Now watch and actually learn. Well, hello and welcome back. Listen, I can really fix it myself if you just give me- Oh, a oh, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Besides, this is a serious job that requires the right man. Luckily for you, I'm right here. Now, if you just give me the key, I'll give it a full inspection. But that's really not necessary. <laughs> Trust the professionals. Okay, sweetheart. Christina. Christina. Go have a seat in the customer lounge, and I'll come get you. A full inspection? Is that really necessary? Oh, oh yes it is. You see, a full inspection costs $250. That is just the beginning of it. Just wait until I tell her her car has a leak. Okay, how do you know she's not going to catch you? She's a woman for crying out loud. She doesn't know the brake from the gas pedal. Take it from me. I don't know. I wouldn't be so quick to judge a book by its copper. Oh, you think I would take advice from you? The guy who gives out free air made zero dollars today. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Besides, with my charm, I'll have her thanking me for not charging her more. <laughs> oh, boy. Am I glad you brought this in today? The engine needs to be replaced. What? That's crazy. It was running perfectly fine. Look, I know that as a woman, you may not be able to understand all this, but I am doing you a huge favor. Take it from me. Five grand? And you charged me the $250 inspection fee. I said that wasn't even necessary. Yeah, but the car needs a brand new engine. You should be thanking me. You should have seen when I got into that thing, it was leaking engine oil everywhere. <sighs> I can't believe this. Hey, where do you think you're going? See? Look at all the oil your car was leaking. Would you mind giving me some new spark plugs? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. I know that because I'm a woman, you may think I don't know a lot about cars. But I actually do. Thanks. You see, when a car's spark plugs are bad, it can cause the engine to misfire. Which will trigger your check engine light to come on. Needle nose pliers, please. Ratchet with the long extension. See all the oil and carbon deposits? That means it's time to replace it. Why don't you make yourself useful and go get me a gauge gap? Now that the spark plugs are replaced, watch. See? No check engine light. Wow, that was amazing. But I don't understand. How do you know so much about cars? Let's just say my dad owns a shop. I grew up working on cars. Your dad? Christina! What are you doing here? I just came to get some new spark plugs, Dad. Wait. She's your daughter? Yeah, yeah. She actually used to work here back when Oscar started. But, uh, I guess you guys haven't met yet, huh? She's my little girl. <laughs> I actually named the shop after her. Oh, wait, Chris's car repairs? Yeah, I call her Chris. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, okay, so, uh, well, I'm so glad I was able to fix your car for you. <laughs> uh, don't worry about the cost, it's, it's on the house after all. We always treat our customers like family Oh, here. save it. Leroy here tried to charge me $5,000 to replace my entire engine when all I needed were some spark plugs. You what? Oh, sorry, I, I, I can explain, you see, I was... Wow, wow, that is a nice port. Juan, what are you doing here? Hey, Sam. I told you I'd be back, and this time, I brought my car. I'm thinking about painting it red, getting some new rims, maybe even a new sound system. What do you think something like that would cost? Um, I don't know. Off the top of my head, around 10 grand? That sounds great to me. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Just wait for me in the lunch, and I'll be right with you. Great. Thank you. Well, Devin, looks like you just won the contest. Congratulations, you're the new shop manager. W wait, really? Now, are you serious? I'm not gonna work for him. Unless you make me the manager, I'm gonna quit. Uh, thank you, that won't be necessary because you're fired. See, at this shop, we like to treat everybody like their family, not take advantage of them. This is unbelievable. Can this day get any worse? Hey. Can I give you some advice? Never judge a book by its cover, and then you'll get ahead. Take it from me. You got me fired. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. What'd you just call her? Sweetheart. Why? Who are you? Her husband. 